So myelin was the last piece of the jigsaw to make Big Point Player complete. So before myelin came along, neuroscientists were focused on the neurons and synapses that fired off information down the nerve sequences from your brain, nerve sequences to your body, to your muscles to act. And it needs to arrive at the muscles quickly and it needs to arrive all this information at the same time because it's like having a heavy door and if three people smack onto the heavy door heavy door opens but if three people are half a second out door shuts and that's called refractory time so the great thing about myelin is that it rapidly speeds up rapidly speeds up information brain neurons synapses is to your muscles and they all arrive at the same time. It's extraordinary. And before myelin came along, two things really. Firstly, under pressure, information comes to you quicker because of the whole fight, flight, freeze, urgency thing. But the information is flawed. And if you've got many things going on and squillions of information trying to come to your muscles and arrive at the same time, but it's not, with flawed information, you're gonna make mistakes. That's why, that's why under pressure people make the mo most mistakes. That's why even the Nadals and the Djokovic's second serve, 30-40 match point, are more likely to serve a double fault. So this is what happens normally. Millions of bits of information are being sent and need to be processed. So let's just take them when you are playing singles or doubles. Your brain's got to work out where that ball's going to go. What's the sense of direction, the bounce, the speed, the spin? Where is it going to end up for me to hit it just at that right place? And then the second thing the body's got to process is to get you there just at the right time. Preferably ahead of the right time rather than just in time, but get to the right place at the right time. And then lastly, if that's not enough of the information to process, it has to process every little bit of coordination of your body from your toes through the tips of your fingers. And get it just at the right time, because five degrees or 10 degrees out at the point of execution means that you're in the net, you're wide, you're out, or you just plumped it easy for your opponent to hit. Masses to process. So under pressure, again, the, the brain is wired in caveman times to protect ourselves. Fight, fright, freeze, we protect you, we analyze, we do things frame by frame, which is the conscious controlling mechanical brain, 50 bits per second. Now at 50 bits per second, you can see there's millions of information to process and it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna arrive speedily, it's not gonna arrive at the same time, at the same time of having flawed information to process. If you've got many things going on with your shots, you've got many things going on in your brain, it's not gonna happen. So here's the magic of myelin. It builds with an exact sequence, stronger and thicker insulating band that then channels all the information from your neurons to your synapses to your muscles. And the point I wanna stress is it's repetition and exact repetition. So if you've got lots of talent and lots of flair that's not going to be exact and repetition if you practice backhand and forehand uh, baseline to baseline looking good in practice that's not going to happen in a match so what we train with myelin is first of all in singles seven two-shot combinations so in all the things in tennis that you could be practicing all the improvisation and spontaneity and do my best and react to the opponent, we have 14 shots to practice. Seven, two shot combinations. So plus one, next shot plus one, next shot plus one. It's always a set up and a hurt or a neutralize and a hurt. So what myelin does is immediately kick you up from 50 bits per second to 14 million bits per second. We always say, I always play my best when I'm relaxed and non-thinking. That's because we're in 14 million bits per second mode. But as soon as you step onto a match court, as soon as you have pressure, the natural instinct is to go to 50 bits per second. So the training is how can you flick the switch 
to be in unconscious, subconscious, intuitive mode at 14 million bits per second. So myelin wraps the exact sequence and the more you repeat that exact sequence, the more myelin is built strongly. So information goes really quickly and arrives at the same time. So therefore, if you only practice a few tactics, 20% of tactics producing 80% of the points, if you can only practice on 20% of the court that produces 80% of the points, if you can only use 20% of the shots to execute the tactic under simulated pressure, at the same time as training self, learning to harness thoughts, feelings and emotions, learning to override ego, learning to get detachment and composure and certainty, this builds one strand of myelin for one execution of tactic. That means that under pressure you have shifted from knowledge that you can read in a book or see in a video, skill for what you practice, to automaticity. It is who you are under pressure at critical moments. You are a big point player.